Welcome to another edition of Gamma World. That's my intro. That's it. That was it. That was it. Kind of like, I was it's like I my was Tina gonna, Turner. I was going to go somewhere. I just I was. I thought it was maybe a few minutes. No. No. Oh my god. No. Yeah, I thought it was going to go That's through it. the whole. I'm going like Tina Turner, like Thunderdome. Okay, I gotta get. I gotta get back closer to where you I was. Gotta get close. I scared you away. Uh, yeah. No. I was like, go ahead. I leaned back, and you were done. That's it. Yeah. I worked I, hard on that. Uh, no, it, it sounded. We got excited for a second. I laughed because I was like, "Wow, that's good," and then it was over. Well, it's short and sweet. Okay, that's why I work like that. All right, I, I work in quality, not in quantity. D- um, okay. <laughs> so, um, welcome back to Gamma World, Nick. Thank you. <laughs> Is that the proper response? <laughs> I don't know. Would you would you thank someone for living in this place? It's, uh, it, really it's fucked not up. Bad. It's yeah. not bad. Here. Isn't oh, it? oh, oh, you mean in Gamma, Gamma World? Yeah, Gamma, Gamma World sucks. World. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't. It sucks to live in Gamma World, I guess. But they're living. They're alive. They're surviving. They're surviving. They're making it happen. So, where do we leave off in Gamma World? Um, Sorry, we missed last week's show. Again. <laughs> it's fine. I think it was as much my, my fault too. I think. No, it's it's. Anyway, go ahead. So we left off. Uh, our heroes had uh, escaped the sub basement of Super Adventure Fun Time. And had able to were able to um, hide away uh, four sentry drones that that they were fighting previously that became deactivated when the power to the to the uh, to the site got cut after the explosion the firework pyrotechnic explosion in the generator room. Um, so they secreted these robots away and hid them so that they could go and pick them up later when they had transport during the period of time where the, our heroes were uh, searching for a place to hide them. They noticed that something that's a nice pencil shop. I I bought it at the pharmacy. dude. It's really nice. The pharmacy is the best. It really, they have everything really. How do they have everything? It's the best pharmacy I've ever been in. Yeah. I don't even want to tell anybody. You, 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 you. Told me about the place. I was like, okay, you know what? He's right. Let's go to a local pharmacy. And dude, it was like going back. It was like a, not a time capsule. It was like a, a time capsule in another dimension. Yeah. It kind of winds around. Like I would, it's akin, the way that that place is, everything is packed into there. It winds around like a street somewhere in the mid East that it wasn't even like, I've been back into some of those neighborhoods. It's it's not even like it was designed that way. It was like the street just kind of became that shape. Like it just winds in a corkscrew back to just nothing. Like you just you wind in and out of these aisles of stuff that are just packed stuff everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. And, and as soon as you walk in, you smell can- like, like 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 it reminded me of an old corner store pharmacy. Like probably before I was born yeah. you, you know I, like really you, you walked in and you smell like you smell licorice yeah and can and chocolate and with a little bit of medicine yeah it's like weird you know it's like it's weird seriously if there- and there's everything in there and then you could get you know oh, i forgot to get the gift for my wife like you just like pick something up there no dude they have bracelets and and those those fancy wine glasses those painted they have cool yankee things there's all kinds of sports stuff they have sports. toys they have toys yep. cards yep and you know pharmaceuticals. Yep, you can get your sundries. Nice there. travel mugs, sundries, all, all the sundries. Yep, and all, and like, and then you also have like the the Amish uh, pickled things in the corner. Yeah, right? yeah. And then it's like, what the what the hell is this doing here? Dude, they have jugs of apple cider. They have, they have jugs of apple cider. There. It's like what from the Amish country? But, <laughs> but I think you hit it on in the nose. And this, of course, has nothing to do with this part of the show. But Sorry. I still think it's interesting conversation. Is that it? It is like you walked into an old timey candy drug store type. right like you can it was like, like part five and ten part yeah i want like an egg cream i'm like serving yeah, an yeah, egg cream yeah, yeah. Like, I, I do that just like you should redo i, I bet it. you you can i bet you this is a corner of the store i haven't been to yet that has an egg cream uh, let me give you a bit of let me give you an adventure when you're there use the bathroom they have a bathroom there bathroom. well it's part bathroom uh-huh. and it's part storage room <laughs> well <laughs> <laughs> so I went in there and there's just literally piles of stuff 
Like they're any drugs in the bathroom? No, unfortunately, no. I was looking for <laughs> any really good antibiotics in there for my chlamydia. Ugh. Um, anyway, <laughs> anyways, sorry, TMI, everyone. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, but uh, I, I think they're marginally hoarders. I really do. They are kind of hoarders because of what. And everybody walks in. Hey, Joe. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, they know everybody. Yeah. How's hey. Natalie? Is she okay? Is she feeling better? Because you get, they gave her this medication, and I know what the medication is for. Right. Right. So yeah. She's yeah. Obviously not shitting. So Listen, I know. I know it's burning when you pee, Chris. Is it, you know? It's it, getting better though. Is yeah. it, okay. I need to start screwing prostitutes. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that'd be funny. <laughs> anyway, anyway. How's the herpes, Chris? It's, you know, <laughs> thanks to these medications, it's not flaring up quite as bad as it is. Um, the wife and I are getting close again. She's <laughs> to trust me. <laughs> um, All right. So we have, uh, we, we were in that town. Yep. And you, you had discovered that maybe some, some something had happened to the river. Um, not a hundred percent sure. Um, yeah, I was smelling and, and, Turning colors and didn't, not, I'm not like, flowing. You it said it wasn't which is flowing weird. well. Yeah, something was wrong. That's about weird, it. and I can't figure that one out. So, uh, but you disregarded all that, and you walked well, back. Well, to yeah, town. What was I going to do? Like, I'm going to fix a river. <laughs> yeah. So you, we went back to town and um, went back to visit some of the old people that we had met <laughs> a few days ago, <laughs> including Znar. Znar. Don't put a D in there. Znar. I'm trying not to put a D in it. I'm trying not to not say the name of the that I created correctly, because that would just be fucking stupid. Um, and uh, <clears throat> you find out that he had some connections with someone who might be able to offload some of your technology. You went out a back door to the from the pasture into an alleyway and walked into the oh yes smoky little shop of. Atso. 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 The fixer. The fixer. Yes. Is that, oh, I don't know he's a fixer yet. I haven't well, that. I mean, he, yeah, he kind of, I mean, you know why you're going there. He's going to buy your stuff, so. Yeah. Is it, somewhere to fence my wares. All right. And that's where we left our heroes. Okay. We, we have to get better at these recaps. I have to figure mm-hmm. out a better way to do it. I, well, I, I'm, I distracted you with this awesome pencil shop. The pencil shop. It's got two ends and you could turn it. To get to each end, and then you turn it again, and it stops the shavings from coming out, and it sharpens pencil really well. I also got this nice protractor. There you got a protractor? Too. A protractor. <laughs> That's one. Yeah, I bet you got the graph paper there, too, did you? Uh, no, I had just had that. Oh, you had it. My son had that. But um, I think they have graph paper there. Oh, yeah. I bet they do. They have. Com- I have a compass there. I know. They have compass. Oh, they have compass. Oh, I have compass. You know, I mean, I'd love a- to be the guy who's... I- I'd love to just know... Who their supplier is that has like just goes all right. Give me two cases of soda. Give me some chocolates and co- those chocolate pretzels. Some of that yeah. Amish licorice. Oh yeah, love, and uh, you have any of them compasses? Com- I need a comp. I need compass. I need compasses. Is that what a plural to compass is? Compass. I, I don't know. I can't. I couldn't tell you. Can I get rid of this minus one? Am I healed? Yeah, yet? you're healed. Yeah, you're healed. Okay, so I'm, I'm at full hit points. Still not leveling up. Still have no experience points. We're going to work that out. I, I'm completely experienced in the list. Experienceless. I think you're filled with, you're brimming with experiences. Every day is a new experience for you. Yeah, I mean, what was the first adventure? Uh, well, first I... You played the prologue. Right. And I uh, fought in that arena. You fought in the arena, you yeah. know, technically during the prologue. Okay, that's what got me to level three, which is where you would normally start getting yes, the world at. Okay, so that got me to level three. So then after that, what? Oh, I I freaking you killed what's his face? Also part of the prologue, though technically that was part of the prologue. Technically, yeah. Wow. So the I only, started Gamma World from level one almost. So I, much, I already leveled much, up to three. We played you from level one. Yeah. See. Okay. And then your real adventure started when you left the city to attain the tech, which was always my goal. Mm. It happened exactly like I planned it. Cool. All right. <laughs> so, um, Otso <clears throat> welcomes you into his shop. It's dark and musky. We checked our weapons in that lockbox. You check right? your weapons, yeah. <clears throat> and the three of you uh, kind of cram into this area, and um, there's these little slatted blinds all over the place, letting these rays of light cut through smoky atmosphere in there. And it's very musky, and there's a really strong smell of some kind of like spices or something. And he's very heavy set. Are there any other people in the room? Just him. Just him. Yeah. And me and Grace and Gloom. And Gloom, yeah. Gloom's kind of stooped over. 
Um, and he also is wearing a, a, a dirty apron and he, like I said, he has an, an, an implant in his eye. It's actually a big part of his face. that has the, the monocles that many of these weaponsmiths use to evaluate things built in. So they're all kind of clicked back right now. Mm. And he's, uh, and he's got a, cra- See, now, he's got one arm. that's like almost like a crab arm. See Now to me, <clears throat> I'm the muscular adventurer here. Mm-hmm. Um, gloom is the fast, um, what's what I'm looking for? Um, someone who's good at hiding. Uh, what, what's he's kind of like a rogue for? or a thief. Yeah. He's like a, he's he's like like a scout. Scouty kind of. Yeah. yeah. And, and, um, and then we have Grace, who's the tech expert, it yes. seems so far of this group. Yeah. So to me, I, but this is where it gets hard because there's just two of us and one of us is a, a DM, yes. a GM. Yeah. I mean, I can play. I, I feel like, like if, if, if I was here with Grace and Gloom, two other people and you, that Grace would probably just start speaking up <clears throat> because she's the one who knows what the hell she's talking about. Um, so I don't know, like in those situations, what I should do being that there's just two of us. Like you said today, we got to get a casting call. <laughs> yeah, we had a, well, we, you know what? We'll, we, get, we need a grace. We'll figure it out, and we can we can sort through it. I mean, I'll try to play it straight up. I mean, I think I, it's funny that you mentioned this because I thought about it today as I thought about what we we're going to do tonight, and I said, you know, it's going to be really hard because Nick's going to want Grace to take the lead, but I'm assuming that since they're your boards and you're the one that are offering them up, you should be the one that negotiates, and Grace will back you up per your prompting. And that's right. how we'll play it. Right. Okay. So I have this prompt when I... you, Which is pretty <clears throat> much what you've done to this Which I've been doing, you, right? I, that's do. what I've been trying to, to do. That, that's why I've been doing it. Someone on YouTube said, Micho talks too much. Micho talks too much. Yeah. He, well, you're a nervous talker. I am, right? You were, boy, yeah. I, I think Micho is a nervous talker. Okay. But I think he's uncomfortable talking because he probably didn't do it very much. Okay, thank you for sticking up for me. So there you I'm go. I'm not sticking up for there you. There you go, dude. That's why Micho talks. Dude, to yeah. What's wrong? Yeah. <laughs> it would be boring if you said nothing, but I guess you're not the strong silent type. So. No. You're just the strong talkative type. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you're kind of like if if Woody Allen were cast as Conan as the Conan Barbarian. Conan Barbarian, yes, yeah. That's exactly what I <laughs> painted the picture as. Well, you know, this is very awkward. And yeah. I'm sorry that I cleaved your head in half, but it, it's a very... Yeah. It's, I'm sorry. Pretty um, much... Yeah, it's pretty much spot on. All right, so I'm going to... Uh, what was that noise? Oh, that was you laughing and drinking. Me laughing noise. and drinking at the same time. All right, so... Um, Otso, uh, so, hey, Otso, how's it going? It's going pretty well. Oh. Sorry, I thought my Otso voice became is different. Italian. He, well, the show his name is Atso. How could I not make him Italian? He, he we wasn't Frenzo, Italian the last show, though. But I know. I changed it because I thought more... If his name was Atso, we have Frenzo and Atso. Obviously, this town... Is Italian. <laughs> They must be Italian. There's a lot of vowels at the end of names. So it's term. also a good. It's a good chance for me to use a quasi Marlon Brando impersonation. So you sound like when your Marlon Brando has uh, severe cold. Well, yeah, I'm very congested. My like allergies are bothering. Uh, um, Why don't you come inside and, and sit in my workshop? Come on. Uh, okay. Um, you need a tissue? I, I'm, I'm okay. Thank yeah. All right. Okay. Um, yeah. So yeah, I'll, I'll follow you. We have some things for you to you know check out. So he's very heavy set, and he kind of limps into uh, another room where there's a table. Uh, it's like a workbench looking thing with some lighting and a few other chairs. He's like, come on in, have a seat. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's I was, okay. I think it's just, I have. I, I, feel like, I feel like the way I described him and his name is Otto, I feel like I have to do this. Yeah, okay. That's, I want to do it's, this. It's, it's, it's fine. Okay. Yeah, I'm just, right, can I enjoy it without no, you getting a complex? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, t- I'm over explaining. Oh, okay. Um, I need another drink. <laughs> I feel bad that I have a, I'm having a normal voice. Uh, oh, so I'm, we're sitting down. Okay. Um, Gloom and Grace sat down with us. Or? Yeah, uh, Gloom stands because Gloom doesn't like sitting. Yeah, he doesn't like to sit, so he's kind of he's standing. And Grace comes and sits in one chair next to you, and you sit in the other chair. And Gloom stands behind the two of you, kind of looming over you. Okay, so I, I open my satchel and um, sorry, I pull out a board, like but still keeping it in the bag, like kind of just 
and I show it to Grace and look at Grace like, you know, this one. Do I show him this one? All right, she's got it. She kind of half nods and... Okay. I saw you take it out. Uh, <clears throat> I go, uh, we have uh, a couple of these. One, um, what are these worth to you? Oh, it's like stars. Looks like solid state. Oh, let me see this. Let me see. Can look at this. He takes it from you, and he, his little eyepiece clicks over. He pulls a light over the top of it, and he starts to take a good look at it. Oh, it's very good shape. This is, I think you know. Hell yeah, it's very nice. Okay, uh, we got a, we got a couple of um, boards like that. Okay. Um. Yeah, yeah, screw it, Otso. Yeah, and I just empty my satchel. <laughs> you just. Well, I mean, not the ones that. We, you know, the ones we put aside mm-hmm. to show him. I yeah. dump that on the You table. took some of the lower end stuff. So right. he kind of is taken aback by it. He's like, oh, my. This is, this is a very good hole. Thanks. Yeah, it wasn't easy to come by. So, I mean, there's a lot here. Are you looking to offload all of this? Or what, are you looking for some kind of trade? Are you looking for straight up cash? Um, yeah, I think we just, we, um, probably just straight up cash. I, I, I would like to ask you too if you knew any um, place we can get transport, but we could settle this first. Okay. Well, I could arrange for maybe a tray for some kind of transportation. Uh, you know, I'll be honest with you, this is a very good hole. But, you know. I'm sorry. A very good hole? Hole. Ho- oh, hole. It's a very good hole. Okay. Th- I'm sorry. And, I mean, I uh. Okay. You know, I think I could do something for you. I mean, what sort of transportation are you looking for? Um, something uh, for transporting stuff. <laughs> How big? You know, like something that has uh, you know storage in the back. You know, besides passengers, we need to be to haul other things. So you're looking for something maybe in the range of a, of a medium sized cargo vehicle. Oh, yeah, a cargo vehicle. I couldn't think of the word for okay. it. I wasn't sure what they were called. Oh, well, these things are very expensive. Yeah, cargo vehicles, yeah, I don't know if you have any used ones or anything. <laughs> That's why I was just thinking of just doing cash and then seeing what we could get cash-wise. You know, the problem with situations like that, you know, cargo vehicles draw tension. I mean, what do you need a cargo vehicle for? Well, in case we, well, first of all, we, you know, we've been walking around a lot and my feet, I roll blistered up, so I need so, to ride in something. Well, I mean, I could get you a small, a smaller vehicle it would be very easy. But cargo vehicle implies that maybe there are larger things that are also looking to be acquired. Yeah. Oh, yes. And yeah, that's a good point. So they you know, see so someone sees think, a cargo vehicle, and they want them to rob it, right? Yeah, they draw attention. Yeah. Hmm. I'm not saying I. You can't... have any invisible cargo vehicles? What do I look like? One of them? What well, I mean. There, I, there's. I see a lot of interesting tech out out there, and I don't know. Maybe they had such a thing. I think. What do you have? How many boards did you just pour on top of this? Is one, I think, two, how many is that? Twelve yeah, boards. I think so. Something like that. I didn't count them. Grace, how many boards in there? I forget how many. See if you could switch voices. Oh, that's great. You do that to me now. I, I, you notice I don't do a woman's voice. No, no. Grace. She's I mean, pretty much. She's like, oh, there's yeah, twelve. Go fuck yourself. Um. <clears throat> She's like, a very sensitive yeah, woman. She's like, yeah, there's, there's like 13 boards there. Hmm. And Otto just sits there. He's just profusely just sweating. sweating. Just sweating. He's a sweaty mess. And breathing heavy. And breathing heavy because he's literally so fat that he can't even breathe. He sounds like, what's his face, eating a sandwich? Uh, well, James Gandolfini. James Gandolfini was a very delicate situation. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, I don't know. What do you what do you what do you think there, uh, Grace? Um, what do you think the value of these boards are? I mean, you're you're our uh, you're our tech guru here, Grace. Odd, so Grace is she's very hip on the tech, and she'll let me me know if uh, well be able to at least guide me if making the proper decision here. Oh, you're very, very lovely, Grace. This is my, it's very my pleasure to be, make your acquaintance. <laughs> Yeah, you have to have this conversation with yourself now. I mean, she's <laughs> just both visibly them. disturbed, but I think she takes the compliment in stride, just kind okay. of yeah. constant. him. He's like, look, if you let me have this whole boards, 
and maybe you consider me for future opportunities i can maybe hook you up with a transport and enough fuel to get uh, back to here from where you're going you don't know where i'm going I don't know where you're going. Do you want to tell me? I'm just assuming you won't tell me where you're going. No, I, I don't. How do you know I'm going to have enough fuel? Well, I could load up it up with enough fuel. Okay, so you're going to pack so a full medium, fuel. A medium cargo vehicle um, and with packed full of fuel. Yes, I happen to have a combustion engine vehicle, six wheeled, cargo truck flatbed that happens to run off a synthetic corn. Alcohol based uh, fuel. Oh. Not like gasoline, it's more like processed corn. Yeah, gasoline I think is hard to find, right? Well, yes, we have a, I mean, I'm sure there's refineries, but it's very difficult. Hmm. Not impossible, but this is very difficult. Okay. Can we see it? You want to see it? I can arrange to take you to it in the morning. In the morning, we can go look at it? In a boarding. In a boarding? <laughs> in a boarding. In, in, the, in uh-huh. the... In the morning. Boarding. In the morning. In the morning. Yeah, that's yeah. what I said. In, in a boarding. The, in the morning. Yes. I could have a fuel to waiting for you. Okay. If you feel more comfortable, you keep your boards. We trade the boards at the time of the transaction. Right. And we'll have the vehicle on the backside of the city. Okay, so I, I would meet you in the backside of the city in the morning? Meet me on the backside. Okay, like about what, what time, would you say? Sun up. Sun up. Sun I'll up. be there when the sun is up, and, and we'll check it out. Okay. But wait a minute, though, now. I may not. Now, first of all, I may not be the one that's there. Oh. Okay. I'm going to send my people there. I'm going to expect that you honor giving me these boards. The bug sent you here to me. Mm-hmm. I trust the bug. <laughs> you call him a bug? He, I can you say his name? Zars. I have not thought that. Did you imagine me trying to say that in yeah. a voice like this? Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay. But what I was just going to say is, uh, you know, what if we don't? You know, what if we don't like it? What if you don't like the view? Well, you don't yeah. trust me. Well, no, I'm just saying we look at it and we decide it's not for us, and we rather go with cash instead. Well. Let me see if I can get, I don't know. Let me see if I can get a ranger for you to go get a look at the vehicle. Then you come back to me. <laughs> this is a lot of back and forth. It's like you're shopping for a car or something. Here. Yeah, I mean, I guess. I guess my, Then we have to talk about, you know, do you want to lease it versus buy it? Yeah, I guess you're right. This is a straight transaction. Right. I but do, I mean, I can't buy something that I, I haven't seen yet. Okay. So I, just, I still want to just check it out and make sure it's just in, All up, right. you know, big enough for us and. Let me make it. Let me make a few phone calls. Okay, and see if I can find out if we can get you to see it this afternoon. Okay, okay. Let me ask you a question, Atso. Yeah, what's going on with the river? I don't know. That happened a few days ago. I don't leave this place very much, but I hear reports is maybe not smelling so good. Something's happening, huh. which is really not good for this community because the river is a major part of what we do. Right. The anyone have any ideas of what caused it, or they just just thinking it's just that it smells and don't know why? Well, a lot of people reported that a few days ago, the facility down the road started making a lot of noise, came back to life. Shortly thereafter, it's when the river problems happened. Oh, something must have went down. Obviously. Hmm. So I know for a fact that Constable Wayne has sent a number of his units up there to investigate the area. Mm. Look around. All right. All right. So tomorrow morning we're meeting in the where, where? Well, I'm going to come. Maybe I'll get to you. I'll send my people to you this afternoon. We'll take you someplace. You can put your eyes on the vehicle, kick the tires, so to speak. Okay. You tell me if this is a straight up transaction. Or not. You drive a hard bargain, my friend. Oh, I, I wasn't even trying to. Okay. You're being a bit of a hot ass. <laughs> you don't trust me with that's fine? No, it's it. not that I don't trust We're you. building a I relationship. I don't know your taste in vehicles. Maybe, you know, medium hmm. to you is me versus medium to me. I, I don't know. 
Okay. Just I want to make sure it, it can hold, you know, enough stuff. I'm hoping to bring back, you know, larger things to you in this vehicle. Well, that's what I'm saying. We're building a relationship here. This is far beyond this single point of uh, purchase. Right. Okay. And All like right. I said, I, so I, I, bug, I stick my hand out. The bug vouches for you. Then I'm okay with you. Okay. I stick my hand out to shake his hand. All right. He sticks you, his Asa. flesh hand out, which is, and he clasps hand with, hands with you, and his hand is very sweaty and drippy and clammy. <clears throat> okay. I squeeze it and shake it hard. Okay. Um, he kind of takes his hands back and he's kind of wringing them between his, his metallic lobster claw looking hand and his other hand. He's kind of rubbing them together like a praying mantis. Okay. Kind of nervously. Okay. Um, anybody have any questions for Otso before we go? Uh, no, I think we're okay. Grace says. All right. All right. So Otso, we're going to just take these boards back. We'll hold them for the transaction, and um, that's it. We just have to get our stuff back out of your lockbox, and then see you. Uh, <coughs> you said you're going to try and get in touch with us later, I and mean, we'll probably be back in town somewhere. My people will find you. Oh, okay. Um, will they tell us who they're from? <laughs> You'll know they're from me. Oh, okay, good. All right, so uh, I'll talk to you later then. Okay, very well. Okay. I hope to see you soon. Where's the lockbox? Where's the lock? Oh, so you walk back to the main door. Oh, shit. Oh, I guess so we see ourselves out? You, well, he, he walks you back. Wait, hang on. You're off mic. Sorry. I'm trying to find my dice. Still um, he walks you back to the main door. <clears throat> and you notice he's the only one that you see in the building that you're in. Now, it's very tight in there. So you imagine that if gunfire erupted or something, it would be... Very difficult to maneuver and dodge, and right. But he feels he seems to be very secure in his little workshop. Mm. Um, he takes you back to the lockbox and and uh, presses a button on his robotic hand, and the lockbox clicks open. Okay, so I reach in and I take out my vibro blade and my charge pistol. Okay, holster everything. Okay, everybody gets their weapons out, and uh, you know he kind of slips back behind into the door, and it slides shut, and he's staring at you through kind of a like a blast steel. It's like a transparent, very strong window that he's staring back, and he waves at you guys. Waves at me through the window. Through this little <laughs> so I, window, yeah. It's kind of like when I you go to the pond, you know, when you go back. to the check cashing places in the ghetto. Yeah. You know, it's kind uh -huh. of like one I of those deals. Of, I kind of wave back, I guess. <laughs> you know, he kind of waves back to All right, and uh, I guess I walk out the door. Okay. So um, as you walk out, Grace kind of sidles up next to you, and she's like, look, um, he seems a little sketchy. I mean, of course, it's a sketchy business, what he's doing, hmm. but I don't trust anybody, so we should probably stash the board somewhere safe so that we don't have to worry about getting jumped or when I mean, they know we have these things on us. I mean, what's going to stop them from jumping us and just taking them? Right. Uh, you know, that, that, that's a pretty good operation. Now, I mean, of course you hope that he wants to invest in us coming back with more stuff, or maybe he's looking for a short term gain. So we should find a place that we can stash these. Okay. So, uh, geez, where are we going to stash them though? I don't, we don't trust anybody in this town. I yeah. can dig another hole. I'm digging holes all over the place. Yeah, I know. And I don't think, I don't think technology is good in a hole. I mean, the last thing we need is for how many, some how many boards do we have? I mean, I thought you had somewhere in the vicinity of like 30 boards. Okay, so we have 30 boards. So yeah. he's going to come for 12 of them. 12 of them. If he tries to jump us and take 12 of them, <coughs> then we'll just kill them all. Okay. Yeah, what are we going to do? And Bloom's like, yeah, well, I can shoot him in the face. Right. And and then and we'll tell Constable Wayne he tried to rob us. Well, I mean, we do have Constable Wayne on our side. So you step out into that windy kind of back neighborhood part of the town where it's not so open and not as friendly looking. Like it's a little bit darker back there because mm -hmm. the buildings wind around and block out the sun. And mm -hmm. So for step one would be to get out of that neighborhood. <clears throat> oh, well, yeah. I mean. Also, the sun is starting to. We're set. talking here, yeah, so we just walk towards. We ate already, right? At that thing, so I mean, we can walk towards the camp, or um, I'm gonna. Uh, can I stop by Frenzo? Okay, sure. I mean, I'm trying to. Well, you know, listen, guys. Um, I, the game plan, right, is to just get our hands on a vehicle, go back. Get those 
uh, robots and these boards, bring them back to Blink, right? Yep. Not bringing them back to Otso. No. So we go back and get the robots to bring the robots to Blink to pay him off to, right? That's the whole point. I think right? you think you think the robots will be enough for Blink. And and Gloom says, oh, "Well, you know, I I I think they're a good score. It's a start." Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, you know, in my years doing it, I, we, I haven't gotten many functional robots. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a win. I mean, we, they worked. I mean, you know they worked. Well, yeah, I have the marks on me to prove it. Exactly. Um, Not something <clears> that I've seen. <throat> I haven't seen fully functional autom automatons in quite some time. So, no, I don't think that's very common. I think they're worth something. Okay, so if we can get those to bling, then that debt is kind of, you think that debt will be paid? I think he'll be happy. He'll be happy. All right, good. I think it And then we'll still have boards the, left. And we'll still have boards. And I think it shows initiative that we can provide what you promised. So I think that's a step in the right direction. All right. Okay. So, and Grace, you already have what you wanted, right? I have what I need, yeah. What are you, plugging that into something? Because you don't at appear to point, be interested to be selling it. No. Are you building point. something cool? i not building something, no. You're making something cool? Are you, no. Returning something, right? I don't really want to talk about it. Okay. Um, what do you guys think we should do? Because I, I, don't know, I was going to go say hi to friends, though. Well, while, while we wait for this transport. Okay. Maybe we could try and find out what's going on with the river. I wonder what the nightlife's like around here. Yep. Well, yeah, maybe we could do that and try and find out what's going on with the river. Maybe. Okay. Maybe see, because he did say that, also did say these guys there searching the place. Okay. Looking for, you know, that's going to be another problem. Yeah. Because when we get the transport, we got to go deal with them. That's something, too. Yeah. You could, I mean, another option, too, would be to let it cool down and then come back for the transport. Hmm. Unless the, the river gets worse. This is true. Then they'll have to dig deeper into that place. And the last thing you want to do is have them connect the two things together. Right. It would definitely connect you to that, to it, if they, somebody were to catch you there. Yeah. Maybe we could get Constable Wayne involved. In what way? I don't know. Uh, let me think about that. Yeah. And the goes, I don't know. That seems like a horrible idea. He's, I mean, he seems fair, but he's tough. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> but we do know some information about what happened there. Yeah. We could just tell him we witnessed it. What if we just said we're sorry? No, I'm not gonna say. What about if we just I'm said? That fucking what if we said whoops? No, no, no. Like I, I'm whoops. saying maybe we say we witnessed it, hmm. and we could be helping them try and fix the problem. <clears throat> Fair point. And then we could tell them, oh, and by the way, we had gotten some stuff. We kind of buried it here and couldn't carry it, so don't mind us. Right. We're over here just pulling out these things, and that's your plan. No, no, no. I'm just thinking out. We're just talking out loud. Yeah, I'm okay. just bouncing. I'm spitballing. Okay, I hear you. All right. Well, I mean, you know, we should maybe at least find out what's going on. But let's 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 go hit the town. Let's just, you, you guys want mind stopping by Frenzo? Okay, we can go see Frenzo. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what else to do. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, um, I, I I'd like to leave this area and 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 head more towards the main bazaar. Okay. So you work your way back towards the main open area where a lot of the retailers are set up and selling different things, including Frenzo and. Uh, and his his cousin. I think it starts with a C. Why do I feel like I don't have that written down? I don't think I have it written down either. That pisses me off because yeah. he was funny. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. John was his name. John. It was something simple. It wasn't something. I have a John thing. written down. I think it might be John. Yeah, I think it John is John and Frenzo. Yeah, John is his cousin, the rope maker, <laughs> who's very sticky. Um, so Frenzo is sitting in his booth, uh, starting to close up because as the sun. Oh, he's closing down, up. Closing up. He goes, up, he goes, hey, Frenzo, how's it going, hey. man? How you doing? Micho. Hey, what's up? I'm, I stick my hand out to shake his hand. Oh, he shakes your hand. He's like, yeah. It's great to see you again. It's Good to really, see you yeah, too, man. Think, you know, you, usually people don't stick around, but I'm, I'm happy that you're still here. Yeah. Did I tell you I bought rope from your cousin? I, he, yeah. Okay. He, uh, he does sells rope. Yeah. It's his thing. Hmm. Yeah. It was, it, 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 it's pretty good rope. Okay. Good. Yeah. Good. It was a good deal. It was a good I'm, deal. I'm always pleased that someone finds use for any of the wares they purchase here in this area. Um, well, how's it going? You know, uh, 
business has been kind of slow. You no. Know? The river's stinking. People are worried. Yeah, what's that about? I I don't know. It just happened recently, so it's definitely unusual. I mean, it's part of the reason why we built a community here, because the river was a major wellspring for everything that we're doing. So, obviously, it's a concern for a lot of the business people here. I mean, it Do you guys use it for drinking water? We use it for water. We use it for fishing. We also use it to transport up and down the river and trade with other towns and stuff. We trade our goods. You don't drink it, though, do you? Well, yeah. I mean, where else are we going to get water from? Oh, shit. Well, I mean, because it smells now. Yeah. I know. I, we're going to have to figure something out, I think. Hmm. Well, anyway, um, any place, uh, we're in town for a little bit. Mm-hmm. And uh, do you know any place to go hang out? No. Uh, I mean, uh, what kind of fun are you looking for? Oh, I You guys know. look adventurous. Well, me, I guess. Gloom is not so much. Okay. Um, Gloom, Gloom's shy towards adventure. All right. Well, he, he jots a, an address and you noticed as you walked through the back, there were these address posts with just numbers on them. <clears throat> Not even really street names, just like numbers, like almost like a grid. Like it was gridded like G4. And he gives you, he goes, go to, go to Z14. Okay. And don't go there till after 10 o'clock. Okay. And uh, you know, and I think you're going to, it's really, if you're adventurous, this is going to be a, a good time for you. All right. Cool. Okay. Thanks, man. Can you tell them that Frenzo sent you? Uh, oh, okay. I'll throw your name out there. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you know, all the stuff you're selling, I know you're closing up, uh -huh. but all the stuff that you're selling, do you also, you do upgrades on weapons, right? I think I asked you last time. Uh, yeah, I've been known to dabble. <clears throat> I'm a dabbler. Do you up? Do you do anything to uh, vibro blades? A vibro blade? Well, I mean, what kind of upgrade were you looking for? I mean, I don't know. Make it more powerful make it well, cut better than we it could does. try to increase the power supply to see if that maybe makes the blade move at a higher frequency something like that is expensive okay it's very expensive do you have <laughs> no it's not that but, um, all right i was just i'm just curious like you know what what i have in my possession that's upgradable no, I mean, I could do things with the charge pistol. I could put a stock on it. We could extend the barrel. We could do some rifling. I could do some additional recoil compensation. Hmm. Extend the magazine. I mean, maybe a drum. Drum. A drum magazine as yeah, opposed might to the be other little, one. Yeah. I'm not a big drum magazine fan. Different kinds of ammunition. Yeah, cool ammo. You know when you'll appreciate the drum? When I need... Prolonged the... firefights. Mm. But anyway. Seven hour firefights. Well, that's true. I swear by it. You'll never have to reload. Think about it. Don't say no. Think about it. <laughs> I know, I'm going to think about it. But, you know, I could do anything for the right amount of money. Okay. So so you, you, you could be like my weapons guy. If I need something done weapons wise, you're the guy. Frenzo's your guy. All right. Remember, come to the friendly face of Frenzo. <laughs> When you want to blow somebody else's face off. That, your That's slogan, what my your slogan was different last time. What was it? Uh, if you need a friend-zo, come see friend or something like that. Wow. Yeah. I changed it since then. Oh. Times are different you know, now. So now it's like if you... Yeah, things are rough. For the frenzy, friendly face of friend to blow it's somebody gone, else's face off. Blow somebody else's face yeah. off. Okay. All I'm right. playing around. It's... You know I what? Know. To be honest with you, I'm playing with it. It's it's a work in progress. It's okay. Okay. All right. All right. So you know, I'm I'm not everything's a home run. Yeah. You know, I'm strapped for cash at the moment, but okay. that's that's gonna change soon, okay. and I'll, I'll be back around. All right. Well, I look forward to. It. I hope you have a great time tonight. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Appreciate it. Okay. I saw. I just walk off. He, you, what do you want to do? You want to rest at the camp area until later, and then hit this place, or what do you think, guys? Well, I think maybe we go to the camp area we set up. And I don't, I have, and Grace looks at you, she's like, I have no inclination of going to wherever this place is that you're going to. Oh. So if you want me to stay with the stuff, I can stay with the I stuff. I to ask you, you maybe we'll leave the boards with you. I can do that. Uh, we have, we still have the other boards with us too, right? Yep. Jeez, we can't carrying around a lot of loot. Yeah, we should probably put it someplace where it's not so like, you know, bulky and hanging out. <clears throat> Yeah. <sighs> 
Well, even if we had gotten rid of the loot, then we'd be walking around with a lot of cash. We'd be walking around with a vehicle, keys to an expensive vehicle. We're always going to have something of value on us. Indeed. As long as we can defend ourselves, I guess. Yeah, You're right. Yeah. We're okay. Yeah, I mean, we'll I, risk it. And I, if they conquer us on the head, of and if they take our shit, then whatever. I have no money, matter. though. How am I going to this place? I'm broke. Maybe I should have sold Otso one of those boards. Okay, well, Otso said he wanted to see if he could show us the vehicle before the sun went down. Maybe we can still get that done. Yeah, but in the end, then I'll have a vehicle. I'll still be broke. No, we give him the sell on the board. We pay for the vehicle tomorrow. Or I got money. Am I invited? We have Bloom, says, Bloom says, I have money. I'm no, oh, I thought, thought that was Grace. No, no. She has oh, okay. I have money too, but I'm not giving you money for whatever it is you're going to do. Yeah, I know, Grace. That's we were aware. Okay. You, where are we going to meet you later? And I mean, we'll set up camp together and I'll be there. All right. So let's set up camp. Okay. And then uh, I'll see where you're going to be later. So okay. you don't run away with our stuff. Okay. <clears throat> so you said, you know camp. what? I'm not leaving my stuff with you. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I can go to this place with a backpack on, right? I'm sure. Nothing yeah. says you can. Yeah, maybe there's like a Everyone's check where you can check it. Check it. Give it to a stranger? Okay, well, well you're on. Okay. You can, whatever you want to do. You got me paranoid now, but can't walk around with this stuff. Okay. You, yeah, you should be a little paranoid. There's a lot of stuff. Is it's there a valuable is commodity? The, do I have some sort of stuff skill? Stuff skill? What do you mean? What kind of skill, stuff skill are you looking for? Uh, this is, I don't know. Hide stuff. Hide stuff. Uh, you know what? Skill <laughs> uh, I'm I'm going to. Uh, I'm just going to keep the stuff strapped to my back and my okay. backpack. And if anybody wants me to take it off, I won't. So I mean, the boards are flat, and you can kind of yeah. I'm yeah gonna, they're not super super bulky, so I don't want to paint it as that kind of picture. They're they're packed easily in a satchel, and they, okay, that's what I'm going to do. I mean, it's if you're. I don't think you want to run with them. What's a wealth bonus? Wealth bonus is not actually a – well, wealth bonus is – so the way that wealth works in this game is it's not necessarily you have a 1,000 gold pieces. It's you have a certain level of wealth based on where you live, and you make a wealth roll to purchase things. So all the items in the item tables have a wealth difficulty factor. So, oh. for instance, like a Vibra Blade might be 24. means you would roll 1d4, 1d20, plus your wealth bonus to buy things. And have to get a 24 to purchase that item. It's a little bit weird in okay. that way. It's not like, so how do you deal with currency is the, my struggle that I'm doing in this game. That's why we're working off of gold and copper and silver. Because I'm like, well, what, what currency would we be using in this world? wouldn't be paper currency. It's not sophisticated enough to be digital currency. So it has to be some kind of hard, valuable currency and, and I have, have a certain amount of it. Yeah. So my wealth bonus, I can pretty much ignore on the sheet. I think you would, but I think once we get you established, I think the wealth bonus will play into money that you have maybe in a bank of some kind. Bank. Credit that you have like <laughs> – Credit that banks. you have like at the Citadel would be what your wealth would be, right? Okay. Okay. So – now I'm, so we I set up camp with the uh, okay so you that. set up camp um as you guys are setting up camp um a little uh, street urchin looking kid in dirty clothes and no shoes run runs into your camp and he's like which one of you is me show what hey kid you all right sorry Mister Otso sent me to take you. To this back area to show you something. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, you're you're all right. Sorry, yeah, I ran. I <sighs> he's got his hands on his hip. <sighs> Is that I right, ran man? straight here. Okay, all right. Sorry. Okay. Um. Sure. Show us the way. I just. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, when Mr. Otto says run, you run. You you run. Okay. You run. All right. Okay. So he takes you back uh, towards that area and to a ladder, and he's like up the ladder. Uh, and the ladder. I look the up outside. the ladder before You're, I go. It's a ladder on the outside of the building. Fire escapey kind of. It leads up to a sets of stairs that wind up and down and up and down to a larger building that's probably about four to five stories, which is one of the bigger buildings in the city of Brookdale. Uh, Gloom, you want to stay here and keep watch in case something goes on up there? Sure. All right. 
And Gra- uh, Grace didn't come, right? No, Grace stayed back at camp with the stuff. So. All right. If you see anything fishy or you hear me, uh, I, then I just shoot him in the face. Rain hell. Okay. Okay. All right, kid. Um, I Go up this ladder. Yep. You're going to go first? Well, you want me to go first? Yeah, I'll follow okay, you. On, I'll show you the way. So he climbs up the ladder. Okay. Takes you to the roof of the building and takes you to the back part of the roof. Um, and you're overlooking a lot of that windy street area. Okay. And he takes you to the corner and he points to an alleyway where you see... Wait a minute. So I went up a ladder and I'm on a roof, right? You're on the roof of a building, yeah. Okay, and I see what? You're looking back into that area where the oh, windy okay. streets are. All right, yes. And in one of the dead-end streets, you see uh, a tarp thrown over something large at the end of the street. Okay. And he gets up in the building and he waves his hands like this. And there's Who's he? The kid. Okay. Then there's five or six guys over there. And they, there's five or six guys by the vehicle? By the thing with the tarp on it. And they pull the... The tarp off of it, and it's a, it's a large six wheeled transport vehicle, okay, with a flatbed on the back and a cab in the front, okay. And he said, "This is I'm sorry, I'm doing on so." The kid's like, uh, "This is what I'm I'm supposed to show you." Okay, how far away am I from this thing? I mean, you're maybe a hundred feet away from it, and above it, da- looking down. I'm above it, looking yeah. down. Um. Okay, is um, so, kid. Uh, is there any reason I'm looking at this from a roof? Mister Otto told me this is how I'm supposed to show you the vehicle. All right, and, and let's say I like the vehicle. Do you have any other further instructions? Well, then Mister Otto says that we'll set up the next st- step of the arrangements. Um. Um, can you wave at them to start the vehicle? I don't even know it starts. Yeah, hold on a second. And he pulls a little walkie-talkie out of his power and goes, Shh. okay, guys, he, he wants to see the vehicle run. So the one kid jumps in the vehicle and you hear, lots of black smoke coming out of it. It, you know, it doesn't look like it's in the greatest of shape, but it's right. running. It is running. Yep. It's loud, it, it, and, and there's a flatbed on the back. Do I? Has can some I tell? Rails to strap things. Can I tell them. if I could fit these robot things on there? Oh yeah, you definitely could. Yeah. Definitely could. <clears throat> and does it look like it could make it through the terrain we're going to be traveling? It seems to be relatively. It seems pretty. Awkward. The tires, how the tires? tires? They're pretty big. The tires. treads, how the yeah. treads look? Well, I mean, you can't tell the quality. What type of tranny? Tranny, it's like a dual train tranny uh, with like a quadruplexer. On it. Uh, is it air cooled or liquid cooled? Uh, it's probably uh, hyper uh, freon cooled. I don't know. All right, kid. Look, it, it it looks okay. I mean, um, what's the next step? Well, the next step is uh, you meet Mister Otto for the exchange. Goods for services or for item. All right. Um, where do I meet Otso? We'll let you know beforehand. We don't want any funny business, but we'll give you the spot very close to the meeting time. Okay. So I, that's it. I climb down from the roof. Mm-hmm. Is that what you're saying? Yep. All right. And then were you going to come get me? We'll come to you and tell you where the meeting place is. I'll come to you. Okay. How are you going to know where I am? I know where everybody is. Oh. That's interesting. How? It's my town. All right. All right. Well, good luck finding me, kid. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I go down the roof and leave town. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. I. Uh, That's not funny. <laughs> um, um, okay. Okay. All right, so I head back down the ladder. Okay, you come come back down, and Bloom's looking at you like, "Yeah, it, it, you know, I don't know why he showed it to us from a freaking roof. I guess he's afraid we're going to steal it." Um, you know, geez, it sure is hard doing business in these times. It, you know, nobody trusts anybody. That's no, a, it's I, really a shame. No, I, I it sucks because I, I you know. Him not trusting me is making him me not trust him. It's just an endless circle of distrust. Well, I mean, clearly, though, he's been burned before. 
Yeah, he must have been. Um, but at the same time, uh, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not going to. We can't pay for this thing. I mean, I saw it. 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 I mean, it was started at least. It runs. Okay. And the tires look good. It could fit the equipment we're trying to, you know, ship for sure. Okay. Trying to transport. So it's got all those things going for it. But I still feel like we should, you know, I'm not going to hand him boards and then he's going to tell me where to go get the vehicle. It's got to be, the vehicle's got to be there when we hand him the boards. Okay. Well, maybe when the kid comes to tell us, we need to make that clear. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm. Yeah, I'm going to, maybe I should have told him that. Is the kid there? Is the kid around? Uh, the kid ran off. Shit. That kid runs fast. He does. He disappears fast. He's yeah. like a ghost. Um, he's creepy. Hmm. <clears throat> All right, so um, he says he's going to find us. A part of me wants to, like, hide <laughs> to see if he can find us, to be honest. So we're going to play hide and seek? Well, how does he know how to find us? That's creepy, too. Well, yeah, it is. Yeah. I mean, it implies that Atso knows a lot about what's going on in this town. Right. A lot of eyes. A lot of eyes. A lot of little birds everywhere. Birds. Yeah. You don't think we we're, we're bugged or anything when we went in there? Did he touch it? Oh, he shook, I shook his hand. Yeah, do you have a bug? I inspected the hand that I shook his, okay. I shook his hand with. Yeah, his, his hand looks fine. Well, it looks normal. It smells kind of It's a little fishy. smelly. Yeah, you think that kid can smell this? I put it up the gloom's nose. Oh, get that. <laughs> Wash your hand. Well, maybe he's got one of those super scent things and that's, that's how he's going to find me. I don't know. But that's disgusting. I'm trying to figure out how he's going to find me. Wash your hand. He's very... Uh, st- where, where? The river's polluted. It's a good question. Because of us. Can we tell them, oops? No. I really don't think that's a good I idea. Like, I feel like I'm the one that did that. What? I, didn't I light off the pyrotechnic? Yes, you did. But I told you I was going to anyway, so... Oh, okay. So I saved you from being the bad guy? Yes. I'm not used to being the bad guy. All right. Well. I mean, I guess I am. I don't know. Anyways. All right. So let's uh, let's go back to see if, if Grace ran off with... No, I'm, we're holding our stuff. Yeah, so who cares what show, Grace yeah, did? Yeah. Screw her. But let's go back to camp. And we've got to set up camp. And then... Are you down for this place? Z, whatever that gets oh, called? Oh, yeah. Sounds like fun. Yeah. All right. Let's go. So I, uh, all right, I head back towards camp. So you go back. So you go back towards camp and um, clean up a little bit. Wash your hands with uh, some bottles of water that you had or whatever. Okay. Um, and kind of clean yourself up a little bit from the road with what you have. Okay. Um, Any mirrors I could check myself out in? Um, there is a mirror that's just strapped to a tree that just is like a communal hippy dippy. So I go, I go up to it and just you know check my hair. Okay. I have like. I have some semi long hair, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm bald in real life. I'd like to have hair. Okay. So you have a tremendous amount. Well, I mean, you probably. Oh, well, a tremendous amount. Well, you probably went normal. Unkempt, though, when you think about it. I mean, right. You're... Yeah, but unkempt in like a bread pit, they, unkempt way. They probably. Yeah, you probably have. You kind of look Jesus y, I think. Yeah, but much. Like big beard. But much bigger. Jesus is pretty frail. Well, yeah, you're like Conan Jesus. And Conan Jesus? Yeah. I'll take that. Okay. That's pretty cool. So you kind of have long hair. You you know, you were shorn <clears throat> periodically, almost like a sheep where they would just shave you down. <laughs> right. And then shove you back in your hole. Right. Um, so, uh, so my hair is like uh, uneven and shitty looking. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. All right. Um, is Grace around? Grace is there, yeah. Hey, Grace, you know how to cut hair? Uh, not, not professionally. No. You have scissors? No. My hair's a mess. Who has scissors? I don't... Well, anything to cut the, my hair with? My, yeah, with there's... Razor blades? Clippers or something? Clippers? Electrical ones? No, I don't have that, but I mean... I'm, I don't know. To, she, her head is completely shaved. Clue, so what about like, you? Well, you must have shaved your head with something. Yeah. It's, was it naturally it's like laser that? Laser shaved. Oh, do you have any laser shavers? Well, I don't have a laser shaver when... It's a long story, but I was laser shorn, and that's why it won't grow back. Oh, it stops hair from growing back. I don't want that. Yeah. Uh, it, someone put a laser to your head so your hair wouldn't grow back? Yeah. Oh. Uh, you did it on, pur- on, <clears throat> on purpose? If I had or? hair, you wouldn't be able to see this really cool tattoo on my head. Yeah, well, you, what tattoo? I didn't know it's tattoo. She has a big tattoo on her head of almost like, it almost looks like a um, like an arrow goes right down the middle of her head, and then it's like a, it goes to a tip right above her forehead. Okay. And it's like a dark... You had that before you had your hair off? No. After? After it was given to me, after, yeah. Okay. 
You put them there? No. You did it on purpose? Yes. And the hair wasn't on purpose? Also on purpose. On pur- Oh, so mm-hmm. you shaved your own head. No, I didn't do it myself, no. No, but I mean... Yes, you it went was somewhere. all intentional. It wasn't, you weren't held down and it someone was, sh- no. stuck your head well, in a laser thing. Yeah. Well, geez. All right. Listen, you don't have to tell me anything. All right. Uh, That's good. I'm not going to. Uh, okay. Well, you already told me you're laser shaved. I'm just, no, I was telling you, I'm talking about technology. Okay. Um. All right. So I'm going to have to go to this cool party with messed up hair. I'm, I'm sure you weren't I, the only one with messed yeah, up hair. I, so I try and straighten it out with my hands. Okay. Does it help? Yeah. You straighten it out. You put some water on it and you... Yeah, I want to slick, from your fingers slick it back. It. Slick it back fingers, a little bit. Slick it back <laughs> yes, a little bit. Yes. I'm fantasizing a little bit. Let me, let me, let me, okay. let me fantasize yeah. about a full head of okay. long hair. It's luxurious. It's Is thick. it luxurious? Oh, it's thick. It's, it's thick and dark. a little matted, but... It's matted, but you know. But I could run my fingers through it and yep. try and okay, it must be nice. And str- kind of almost stroke the beard on your right, face. and stroke my beard a little bit straighter. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so I'm a little Thor-like, huh? At this point, yeah, you're kind of like a darker-haired oh, cool. Asian Italian Thor. I'm an Asian Italian Thor, but Jesusy and Conan. And Conan and Woody Allen. And Woody Allen <laughs> and more the personality. Okay. <laughs> um. All right. What time is it? Gloom. Yeah. What time is it? The sun, the sun is just going down. He's like, well, it's, it's, it's just it's a, going down. Yeah. It's a little bit after eight. Uh, what are we going to do for two hours? We, you guys, uh, do you want a pregame? We should go pregame somewhere. Let's go. You want to go hit the, uh, I feel like what's, that, what's, that, what's that bar called? The, the pasture? They want to hit the pasture. Pre-game at the pasture? Yeah. Talk we'll to Zars. 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 There's no D in there. Gloom. Zars. 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 Yeah, let's go to the pasture. Okay. Grace, you're welcome to the see... pasture? No. What are you doing? You're just going to sit here? I'm going to sit here and knit. Yeah, okay. And you're going to come with us to get the stuff, and you're going to come with us back to the Citadel? Sure. I don't want to walk back. I don't want to walk back. Right. Besides, I wouldn't miss any of this. <clears throat> the stuff you have to do, you have to do in the Citadel, or, you, or is he going somewhere I, after I do, that? I do need to, at some point, get back to the Citadel, yes. Oh, okay. All right, good. So it works out for you. It does work out for me, yeah. It's what, this suits me. It's why I'm sticking around. Okay. Uh, very, very nice of you. All right. Well, I, um, you're welcome. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. So we go. We're, do we, I guess we, we go to the pasture? I'm, gonna be, I'm sorry. I should have said that. You're putting okay, us I'm out the pasture? No, yeah. Let's go to let's go to the pasture. All right. Okay. So I, um, uh, yeah. Go ahead, Glenn, let's, let's go hit the pasture. All right. So we. You that. said you have money, right? Because I'm freaking I got, broke. I got money. I got you. All right, good. I got you. At this I'm, point, I've, you're, I'm, your, I got you. I'm your woman tonight. No, well, not you, to be sexist. You're entertaining. I, you know, I'm entertaining. Yeah, I, I, I haven't had this much fun in a long time. All right. Oh, okay. That's nice. Did, All right, I, let's go. Does it seem like I'm having fun? No. Okay. No. I am. No, you just uh, you I seem you seem hungry though. I'm always hungry. Your yeah. stomach's growling. I'm really hungry. Yeah, actually. Right. Um. Okay, so you guys head back to the pasture and the czar. Czars. 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 I have to look at what I wrote down. Czars. 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 I have Czyma. Czyma. N Z E R. Oh my Christ. Znarz, There's no way that I. Znarzer. 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 Right. Okay. That's what I have. Oh, wait. Let me write John. Frenzo is John. Yeah, John. John is the is the rope maker. Frenzo's cousin. Rope maker. One day we'll have like a whole encyclopedia of these ridiculous characters. Frenzo's cousin. So John is ropes. Friends of those weapons. Yep. All right. Um, so you go back to the pasture and the bug is there. Once again, just spitting into glasses and squeegeeing them out. He's spitting little... into the glasses? Yes, yes. Oh, fuck. I didn't know that. Oh, oh God. And his spit kind of... No, it's... Sm- it's kind You're of... freaking spitting in the glasses? Yeah. I, I... My secretions have a certain uh, antimicrobial quality. As he spits in the glass, it kind of smokes, and he and he squeegees every bit of it out. You guys want a drink? A little uh, late for you. 
And you boys are past I wanted, your bedtime. I wanted a drink until I saw you spitting in the glasses. Oh, I thought you knew that. No. No. Can you rinse mine out in some yeah, I mean, polluted I some river, river water? water over here? I'll rinse it out if you want. Um, uh, yeah. I don't know why. I mean, maybe, I guess, you know, no offense, but it's it's a little, it seems unsanitary. No, oh, that's me using my cap- my physical capabilities. They're very utilitarian in nature. All right, I just never seen it, so. Well, I mean, I've had a couple of drinks already here at this place. Welcome right? to the world. Yeah. I mean, shit. Don't be don't get so hung up on things, man. You got to really be open. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay. Um What else do you have besides this goat milk because I'm goat milked out? Well, it's interesting that you mentioned that. We have a honey refined whiskey from our hives that we have in one of our sub basements. Whiskey? You have whiskey? It's a fire whiskey. I never drank whiskey, so I... It's a honey fire whiskey. Gloom, you ever drink whiskey? Uh, 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 yeah. You have? I think, I think once. You want to have, um, I, you know what? You want to have my first whiskey together? Uh, okay. It's an ours. Yeah. Um, can we have two of those honey whiskeys? All right, two honey whiskeys coming right up, and he pulls two glasses from the pile that he was just cleaning and goes over to a dispenser and squeezes out a couple of whiskeys into a... <laughs> Everything comes out of this squeezing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, how do you want it? Straight up, or you want it neat or on the rocks? I don't even know what that means. Um, have it neat. You don't need ice. I don't need ice? No. Okay. It's like candy. Oh. Yeah, I haven't had candy in a long time. We have candy? Well, we have several places that make very good candy. You don't have candy? No, not here, no. I mean, we use some candied sugar for some of the drinks. Gloom. You think we can get candy? I, I, you want candy? Well, not now. But maybe like for dessert? Or just before we leave. Okay. Yeah. I never. I haven't had candy in a long time. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. So you guys are sitting there with two glasses of honey whiskey. Okay. So I, I hold my glass up and I look at it. And then I look at Gloom and go, you, you want to say something? Because I don't know. Well, to uh, uh, success. Okay. And uh, I take a sip. Right. He takes a sip too. It t- <laughs> uh, it's like fire it's like fire in your mouth and you can literally feel oh. it burn as it goes down your esophagus to your stomach oh. and then what the you can f- almost feel the shape of your stomach as it heats up in your stomach. What the f- what is that? And it has a sickly sweet taste to the end of it with that honey finish to it and you can smell it, but it's Oh. It's and your body feels very warm. This is is something wrong with this? I think I, <clears throat> I think it's supposed to taste like that. It is supposed to taste like that? I think this is normal. Okay. Oh. oh. Are there fumes coming out of my it tastes mouth? Like, like, it feels like really strong medicine. <sighs> I, 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 I feel pretty good. All right. <clears throat> All right. Well, I'm, I'm going to. Finish it slowly, I think. Mm -hmm. While you're doing that, Znar puts a bowl of uh, these dried goat jerky (laughs) chips on the table. Goat spider jerky chips on the table for you to snack on. And uh, moves over to help a few other people as you guys sit there and you nurse your honey whiskeys. Thanks, Stars. Anytime. Just let me know I went over here. Okay, cool. As a matter of fact, it's on the house. I'll open a tab for you guys. Thank you. Jeez. I know. Any friends of Aunt's house? No. Oh. You know, Gloom, we're doing pretty damn good in this town. <laughs> I do. I, yeah, I feel I feel like a big fish in a small pond. Right? I mean, right? We have, we're friends with the local bartender. We got an in with the local constable. The constable doesn't hate us. Doesn't hate us. Not um, yet, but he doesn't hate us. And um, 
Oh, it's in here. The, the, the muscle in town is... We've got underworld connections. We have underworld connections. No, no, I feel like we're doing good here. Yeah. Like we built something. Yeah. yeah. This is pretty good. We and built, I'm drinking my first whiskey. We built this city. Yeah. You know what? Here, another cheers. Cheers. To, to friendship. Yeah, to, to, to friendship. friendship. There you go. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let me drink it now. Can we get another one of those? Uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> the second one isn't it sip it, <clears throat> isn't as bad. It goes down smoother. <clears throat> it's like um, it's tasting better. Yeah, my head feels fuzzy. Yeah. No, oh wait, my head is fuzzy. Yeah. No, okay, I'm, <clears throat> I'm really I'm not sure I feel anything yet. I'm feeling good. No, yeah, I'm ready feeling... to go. Are you? Let's do this. We just ordered another round. Yeah, we're gonna have another round. Oh, okay. I just mean, let's. I'm ready to go. Go, leave. Well, no, you... just go. Go. Where, you want to go? Where you want to go? You want to go? I, I want candy. Okay. But where do you where you want to go? I we're I, we're gonna go. But we're gonna party. Uh, let's party tonight. Okay. okay. I haven't. I don't think I ever. You know, I've never partied. I think it'd be, I. I think it's we are overdue. I mean, I we, haven't partied in a while. We played as kids, my friends, but we we never really went to a party. Okay, well, let's do it. No. Nope. Okay. okay. So you guys, he comes over and pours you your second honey whiskey, and like much to your point, it goes down a little bit smoother. <clears throat> the second one. Uh, gloom. Yeah. Um. Now I'm. I think I'm starting to feel something. Okay. <laughs> is this is this normal? I think you got to eat something. Is this not? Try just, the goat chips. Is this is this a normal feeling? Yeah, I no, feel, that's a part of the reason why you drink it. I feel like a little. I want to say numb, mm-hmm. but I'm and my body isn't numb, but I feel numb inside. Does that make sense? I think I think it's that's the intention. Yes, the intention. This is what it's supposed to do. Okay, you forget about your problems for a little bit. Hmm. All right. <clears throat> This is pretty good. Do you want to go shoot some people in the face? No. Okay. No. I'm good. You want why? You want to shoot people in the face? Oh, I'm, I kind of. I feel like I'm overdue for shooting people in the face. You, you haven't shot people in the face in probably a it's long been time. Been like two days at it's, least. It's been you know, long for you. That's a while. Yeah. You, you know, you can't um, go around shooting people in the face. You're all right. Time. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Um. You're you're right. That's why I like you because you're right. Zars. You you oh. make sense. Thanks. Thanks. That's, no one's ever told that to me. No, you make sense. Thank you. I get you. You get me. I get you. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Nobody, yeah, gets me. I don't think. I don't know. I get, you're the first I, person to get me. I, I, you're the only person that gets me. Okay. I'm. I, I don't. I don't. I don't entirely get you. I'm by myself a lot. A lot. Mm. Sometimes some of it's by choice. Some of it, yeah, I freak people out. Yeah, you, 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 um... I freak people out. You can say it. I'm you, weird looking. No, no, you're not weird looking, but you, 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 you hide really well. Yeah, it freaks people out. You, and you, 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 you hide. You're, 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 you're a hider. It's what I do. Yeah. It's what I do. You, um... It's what I do. Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah. And he looks up behind the bar, and he's like, "Oh, I, I grab some of that. Are those what? cigars? What's a cigar? It's you smoke them. You smoke. They cigars. smell really good, and you smoke them. They smell good. They smell so smoke. good. I I've never never had a cigar. I don't know what a cigar is. Czar. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, <coughs> are those cigars? <laughs> what happened? What happened? I don't know. I just Natalie just texted me that you are Artie Buco. What? It's something I don't know. Nick is Artie Buco. I'm she's Artie watching, Buco. She's watching The Sopranos. She's comparing you to Artie Buco. But who's Artie Buco? Oh, I know who Artie Buco is. He's the guy that runs Vesuvio's in The Sopranos show. The guy that runs a restaurant. He, Never mind. We're is is he? Talk. Is he really, really good looking, dude? No, no, <sighs> no. Is he, a, is he a fat bald guy? No, not fat. He is bald though. He's a skinny bald guy. He's a little bald guy. Is he Jason Statham bald or is he freaking no, not Jason Mark St- Messi bald? No, also not. He's like fucking he's already Moby bald. bald? He's like, already, what is he? He's like 
male pattern baldness bald, like at the end of it. He's like at the end, like of the, the you know the. But he hasn't committed to just saying fuck it and shave it all off, you know. So he uh, still has the the little fryer thing going on. Okay, but he's funny. He's, he's funny, smart. So he's got a good personality. Yeah. I don't know why. I'll find out should later. I, should I be offended? I'm trying to just, I don't know. I don't know. My wife, I don't know. She calls me an asshole every day. Should I be offended? I don't know. Maybe I'm an asshole. I, th- I think it was the, the, the second time I met her. <clears throat> I think we were at a baseball clinic. And she called me a fucking nut job. Yeah. That's a term of endearment. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I just met you. This is the second time I'm seeing you. He just called me a nut job. That, if my wife calls you a fucking nut job, I think you're in. <laughs> oh, I thought that was so funny. We, I was we, like, oh, I like her. I was talking about it at work, and we, we play very rough at my house and in my family. We play very rough with each other. Do you, do you want a, 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 a Guinness? By the way, did you see... I'm sorry, we're in an RPG episode. I'm going the wrong direction. We are going show. in the wrong direction, yeah. But I saw... Uh, did you see the Guinness can with Alec Guinness? No, As I didn't. Obi-Wan oh, Kenobi what? on it. And instead of the harp, it was his face. As and it said Kenobi. Guinness. And then it, I forgot. It said oh, something. Sir Alec Guinness. I was talking He's Alec Guinness. You said, Obi-Wan Kenobi. I thought Alec Baldwin when you said Alec Guinness. I don't know why. <laughs> but that's awesome. When was that? When did that come out? I just saw it the other day on the interwebs. Oh, must... Do you want any of these? Any? I'll take a Guinness. You'll take a Guinness? Here you go, um, man. Thank you. So, let's get back on track here, so we can. Sorry, yes. This l- l- let's. Oh shit! Oh yes, and it's in oh, a draft. Jesus. So it's got oh, the Jesus nitro in it. Fucking Christ! Crimey! Crikey's! So, uh, Zard, um, goes, Zard comes over, and goes, "Yeah, sure. No, you should try a couple of these. We just got these in from a town up the river. Oh, the cigar. Yeah. Oh, and they're really big, fat cigars. The big fatties. Yeah, and and. <laughs> Gloom is sniffing when he goes, oh, Jesus it's, Christ. Yeah. Jesus Christ, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> the fuck? What fuck, the not fuck. 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 What the fuck you doing, you fucking arsehole? <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, um, he's like, oh, he smells so good. He goes, smell it. It just it smells like very pugnant. Old weeds. Yeah. Wait, it smells yeah. like dirty underpants, doesn't yeah. it? it? smells good. Oh, okay. I'm learning a lot about you, Gloom. <laughs> Um, okay, so uh, don't judge me, man. What do we do with these things? Well, we light them up. Hold on a second. And he pulls. There's a like a stick and a, a bunch of sti- these sticks in this cup, and pulls one up and presses a button, and it ignite. A little flame pops out of the. When he starts to turn the cigar, well, first he bites the end of it off and spits it on the floor, and then starts to light the. So I take up. mine and I like bite like way too much. Okay, of it off. so you end up with a bunch of and then sticks and then and, and like twigs yeah, in, your mouth. in my mouth and then like I'm spitting it on the floor and I'm like, oh, and it's like in my teeth I have like pieces of cigar leaf stuck to the side of my face. <laughs> okay, and I'm looking at gloom, wondering what I did wrong. You ever hear and, the term "you bit off more than you could chew"? Yeah. Well, you bit off the end. I thought you were supposed to do. Oh, that. Yeah, you just gotta bite the tip of it off. Oh. And you spit it on the ground. You could use a knife too. Okay. Well, um, what we could do it with your vibro blade. Hold on. Let me hold it. Let me get another no, one. No, no. I'm gonna pull my vibro blade out in this okay. place. <laughs> this I thought it could be fun, like a William Tell thing. Like I'll hold it and you'll slice it and you'll not who's, cut my who's hand who's off. William Tell. I'm oh, sorry. I don't know who William Tell is either. <laughs> I probably shouldn't know. It's minus XP right there. It should be. <laughs> um. So, but he's puffing on this thing. There's a giant red cherry on the end of it, and he's just puffing, and there's just plumes of smoke pouring out of his mouth, and it's just very sweet and strong hmm. and pugnant, uh, and not unpleasant, but but overpowering hmm. to your senses as you sit there numb, and your head is kind of swimming from the yeah. honey whiskey. Um, all right, I'm going to try it. So I, I try and mimic all that, <clears throat> and um, it starts to canoe... And I also almost burn my finger, and I um, almost burn the clothing on the person next to me. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I never lit a cigar before. It's not his fault. And he's got just clenched in his teeth. He's like, it's okay. My He's my friend. Don't worry about it. He didn't mean to do it. I'm sorry. Sorry. I know I do suck on this thing. Yep. 
just take a puff, but don't inhale it. Don't inhale it. Mm-mm. Just like what? Put you this, just want to kind of taste the smoke in, in your mouth. mouth. Yeah. Okay. So that's I, what I told her. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Who was that? Who was this gloom of the guy next? It to was me? gloom. Okay. <laughs> Like he's getting out of Ooh, control now. What? What the? F- what's? What happens? What's and, and happened to- before you even know it? The, and the bug is pouring another whiskey for you. Wait, you not, wait this is our second or third? <coughs> Your third. This is our third. This is ours. This is yeah. Ours. Yeah. Um. Listen. Uh, this stuff is strong, man. Are you enjoying it? Oh, it, 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 yes. But I, I'm. I'm. I'm starting to get concerned. About my friend Gloom. Well, I heard you guys are going to Z13 tonight. You're yeah. Gonna, you're going to have a good time. I'm going to have a good me. time? You're going to have a good time. I don't... Okay. But uh, Gloom scaring me a little bit. Um. Okay. So, I, I suck on this thing and <clears throat> uh, blow something out. Um, okay. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> it's... Uh, a lot of strange tastes tonight. Um, it's actually kind of, kind of nice. Yeah, <clears throat> I suck on it a little bit more and then blow it out. Yeah, oh, the yeah. secret is to the cigars is that we cure them with a quasi hallucinogenic mushroom. What? What yeah. is that? Well, we cure them. We we grind the mushroom up into a paste. Uh-huh. And we let it soak into the tobacco leaves before we make we roll the wrappers around the tobacco. Okay, and, but what did you say you soak it's them like with? It's like a quasi hallucinogenic mushroom. What is what does hallucinogenic mean? It's going to take you places. Don't fight it. Just go with it. Where it's going to take me? Where? Well, it's going to expand your mind. In inside of my head, because. Won't my, won't my like head explode if it expands? What it's not saying? like that. And even as you're talking to him, you, his voice starts to echo a little bit. Are you, are you all right, Zazars? Yeah, I'm okay. Are you all right? Um, and you're literally looking into every facet of his eye. Like you can see every facet no, of his like eyes a, with, as you're looking at him. Um, and your head is kind of starting to swim gloom, a little bit. Gloom. <laughs> gloom. <laughs> yeah. What the? F- what's going on? Oh man! This Are you good. seeing the same stuff I'm seeing? I'm seeing all kinds what, of stuff. All right, so, but listen, this listen, is going to be listen, a good listen, night, man. It, it, wait, this place is crazy. This, wait, wait, this is, wait. Good night. This is this is freaking. I'm freaking out. All right, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. He puts it in his teeth. Again. Calm down. He's, he grabs you by the shoulders. Okay, calm down. Look, what? I'm here with you. All right, you're not alone. Okay, yeah, all but. Right? So this guy, so Znars isn't actually, his head didn't get larger and his eyes didn't get larger and he's... No, man. He's all like in my head? No. This is from the cigar or the whiskey? It's from a little bit of both, but mostly the cigar. Apparently it's got something in it. Well, you... <sighs> it's laced. It seems to be mellow though. I'm, it's okay. Why, why am I talking? I'm talking as the bug for gloom. It seems to be mellow, man. <laughs> We're okay. We're okay. Just stay with me. Stay with me. We're okay. Uh, okay. Well, listen. You've been around this stuff more than I, I have. I just I haven't done this just, before. But yeah, but I mean, then it seems like I'm okay. Okay, okay. You're okay. All right. I'm okay. All right. Where are we? The pasture. Okay. What okay. town? Glendale. Glendale. No. Glendale. Okay. No. Brookdale. Yes. Okay. See, we're okay. You know where we are. Who are you? Uh, m- 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 Michio. 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 Mi- Michio. I thought it was Michio. Me, John. You're John. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. We're okay. We're okay. All right. We're gonna go after this one. This. Uh, is I it. think. I think. I think I'm talking too much. Yeah. No, you're not talking too much. You're fine. You're not talking any more than you normally do. Okay. I'm talking too much. I'm talking way more than I normally. Yeah. Do. No, I, I never heard you talk too yeah, much. Yeah. So much. Just... All right. Well, it's all right. It's nice for a change for someone else to be talking I'm okay. to I'm me. Okay. Okay. Good. I'm okay. All right. So I guess. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Who am I? You? Oh, yeah. Gloom. Okay. That's right. Do you not know? No, I'm okay. You're testing me. I'm testing you. Okay. Okay. Just testing you. you. You're you're gloom. I gotcha. Where, what's the name of the place we're going tonight? Z13. Z13. When are we going? Well, we, I just heard. Did you hear a beep? I heard the beep. I heard a beep. I heard the fire detector. Are we going to look for this thing? The what? The fire detector. The beeping. smoke detector? That needs a goddamn but- that needs the the battery. Volt. Yeah, there's a, there's a nine. <laughs> Maybe you put a bad battery in another one, and you have to go back and check them all again. Yeah. They always happen at night, the beeping. Oh, God, yes. It never happens during the goddamn day. No. 
Um, and you can hear so, it all the way upstairs, can't you? Um, I probably will tonight. Now that I'm thinking about yeah. it, it'll just be in my head. Um, wait, what, oh, what, what time are we going there? We, we, we should we should pound this whiskey and then go now. It's like time. Okay. I mean, it opens. I like think I need minutes. some more of these goat things, and I grab like a fistful, almost emptying the bowl, spilling half of it onto the thing, and I start shoving it. Into it's my like face. it's like half jerky and half potato chip. Yeah, and and you know, everyone in the bar is staring at me in horror yeah. as I make a complete. I mean, I'm being really gross. <laughs> okay. I mean, right. oh, oh, this is um, these are good. Do you have any of these? Oh yeah, those are good. Oh. Those are good. <clears throat> Um, it's waking me up a little bit. It's nice. Yeah, but it's good. Okay. All right. So let's put it, put the cigars out. We're going to have a drink. Put them out. Do we take them with us? We, we should take them with us. Take them with us? I don't, okay. yeah, no, I don't want... Yeah, let's, let's put them out and okay. put them in our pockets. Okay. Or we can smoke them in... Let's smoke them while we walk there. No, I don't, okay. Okay. Right. Uh, we, so we got a t- tab now? We just leave? Yeah, he said we had a tab, so we're good. All right. We're like Is celebrities it, here. They're just czars, czars. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna head out, and then we're gonna we'll we'll settle up when like maybe tomorrow or something. Yeah, sure. Before you go. Yeah, absolutely. Of course. No problem, guys. Have a great time. All right. Thanks, man. And as he's talking, thanks, his man. voice is getting talking, like I'm fucking. Louder. <laughs> thanks, man. Hey, man. <laughs> oh like, my god. This man. fucking Gamma world became the Big Lebowski. It's almost like we're Cheech and Chong now. <laughs> <laughs> just eat more acid than I've ever seen, man. Um, uh, okay, so we kind of stumble out into the street with our cigars okay. and our teeth smoke, you know, uh, pouring smoke. Okay. <laughs> and we start to stumble through the um, alleyways. Most of the vendors have cleared out of that area. Mm. It's nighttime. Every now and then you'll see maybe a patrol of guys walking through, keeping an eye on things. And then obviously people at the gate. Maybe young lovers strolling through town. Lovers. In arm. Into species? Uh, potentially, yeah. Oh, cool. That's hot. Um, um, all right, wait. Do we know how to get to Z13? Well, yes, uh, like a grid. So I was like... Yeah, but with the letters, is, the numbers. We're like C4. C4 or to like Z13. C4. So we go from C to Z? We got to go all the way to Z, and we got to go over like like nine, nine, eight, nine. I don't know. You're asking the wrong guy. Right, because we're at four. We're going to get to 13. So right. Four or six is 10 plus another right, Let's three. walk towards that direction. It's like nine. Let's walk towards let's that direction. Let's go that way. Okay, so we're going to go. It's that we, way. I, we'll walk that way. Before I walk that way, I... I, I, I stop and I look in both directions really fast. Okay. Do I say anything? No. Oh, fuck. Okay. I'm hoping I see something when it comes. But I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna walk. Okay. With gloom. So we're walking in the dark. We're with walking. My cigar. Yeah. And there's there's okay. lights along the road that are lit to oh, light okay. the path. So it's not nice. Like, it's sitting in pitch black. And, and what's the weather like? Is it nice? It's nice out. Yeah. It's a nice night. Cool. It's a nice night. It's, it's cool. Nice you, know? it's like a you, feel, night. you feel that on your skin? Like it's like the, the air on your skin. I do. I do. Feels, now, you notice that he nice. is mostly covered though. Like with the exception of his, his face. face Everything is pretty like he's he constantly wear wears gloves, okay, um, and long sleeves and long pants. You feel you feel that on your face? I do, I do. It feels good. It feels feel good on my eyes. On your eyes, yeah. My oh, eyes feel good. I didn't even notice my eyes, but now that you mention it, like, do you feel like you're breathing out of your eyes right now? Oh, uh, shh, listen. You're, I think you can hear me breathing out of my eyes. Yeah, I, I think I hear it. All right, we got to go to Z thirteen. Okay. So um, you stumble through the streets mm-hmm. and you're kind of arm in arm, kind of like buddies would be like <laughs> arm over shoulder, just kind of, you know, two buddies finding their way drunkenly through the Stumbling streets. down the street. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. And people okay. are looking at you and you feel, you do feel like literally people are in the windows looking at you. People are on the street are looking at you. Gloom. Every turn. Is, is it me or is everyone looking at us? It seems like... um. I'm used to everybody looking at me because I'm weird and yeah. kind of scary. Gloom, gloom, gloom. Gloom, you know, make people gloom, you're scared. Not, gloom, you're not, you're not weird. Not, you're not weird, I'm dude. Sorry, dude, you, 
Wait a minute. Wait Sorry, a minute. I'm messing up your name. No, dude, you're it's not. Night. You're not. You're not weird. Dude. What? what the fuck? You, where, do you, where do you get weird? From? I don't know. People, Who told you you're weird? I don't know. People. I don't know. I got a bad. I, uh, listen. You know, man. Wait a I, minute. I, I do. I, stuff like happened to me when I was little, man, and it was like. Really like a bummer, dude. Well, like you know, like I don't know, like what, like dude, like I'm the reason why my mom died. Like it was me, one hundred percent, and I was a baby. You were a baby. How could it be your fault if you're a baby? That doesn't make sense. Because because when I got these powers, like my body secretes poison, and my mom was holding me. Wait a minute. And I was poisoning her. Your body secretes poison? Yeah. I have, like, my body secretes poison. Oh. Like, constantly. And you poisoned your mom? And my dad. And my brother. When I didn't were, know what I was doing. When you were a baby? Is that why you wear gloves? Yeah. Oh, that? I can't touch anybody. You can't touch anybody? I can't, because I poison. I have... I. I'm poisonous. I'm poison. In addition to all the other weird stuff. I got a lot of problems. Look, man. This Listen. is why I don't have any friends. Well, you, well, I'm your friend, man. I don't know. I know. And I appreciate you. <clears throat> I appreciate you. All right. Well, I'm 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 glad you appreciate okay. me. I, I appreciate you. You, you too. should. But I'm a good person. Yes. People no, you are a good person. I don't know why people want me. And Dude, you're a baby. You didn't do anything on purpose. You just no, got like poison in your skin, man. It was a freaking accident. But that's why I risk, risk, bling. Sorry, bling. <clears throat> your risk is the other guy. The other right? guy. Risk, risk. He's the gambler. Uh, this is a whole story with that guy. But anyway, <laughs> so risk took me in when I was a kid. Risk, risk taught me how to use what I have. Risk gave me purpose. Gave me a purpose. Pick me up out of the gutter. He's a good guy. Good guy. Risk okay. a good guy. All right. Had me do bad things. You did bad but things. I, but I owe everything to him. So how can I not do it? Where it says, kill this person, I made the person go by. Well, um, man, this whole town, man, this whole world is not fucking easy, dude. So, I don't know. Listen, we have to <clears throat> all make our ways about. I mean, we it, it, and look what happened to me too. It's, it's. I don't think anybody gets through this without some sort of dark shit. No man, nobody here gets out alive. No, nobody here gets out alive. Yep, everybody goes, and over here it seems to be. Uh, more often than not, but, but I'm glad what? that we're I'm here, here with you right now. We're here now. Yeah, we're fucking heading to Z Z thirteen, Z thirteen. Woo thirteen. Let's go. Fuck it. Okay, that's what I say. Gloom. Fuck that shit. Yes. Fuck it. And fuck that Grace bitch who didn't come. You. Why you don't like her? She seems nice. I don't know, man. Something up with her. You got a trust issue. Mm. Well. I guess I do. I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying you don't trust her. She seems nice to me. All right. I mean, she's doing her thing. We're doing our thing. Anyway, I don't know. Maybe you're right. What, what block are we up to? Uh, we're getting close to where you're like in we're the X, X block. We're X. X. I, oh, gloom. Only four more blocks. You're getting further and further back, and it's darker and darker back there, and fewer lights and fewer lights and fewer people and fewer people. And the people that you run into seem like people that were out that are maybe up to no good. So you start to pull your wits about you a little bit more. The idea that you know, <clears throat> these people creeping around. Yeah, go, gloom, gloom. I think we should put these fucking cigars out. Okay. Yeah, because yeah. Uh, I think we. I've. It's getting like I'm going to save some for later. later. Yeah, I'm gonna save yeah, some. We'll later. keep it. Definitely keep Yo, it. Yeah, definitely keep it. Definitely say definitely again. Definitely. Oh, 
Definitely keep it. I'm funny when you say it like that. I pick up my left foot and I put it out on the sole of my left foot. Okay. Shoe? Do I have shoes? No, you don't have shoes. I put it on my bare foot. No, you have shoes. (laughs) On On the bottom of my shoe. Yep. And I inspect it for burning embers. Okay. And, and, but I do it for a bit too long. Okay. So your shoe is kind of... I'm just, No, no, no. My shoe is down, but I'm inspecting it for embers for a bit too long. Yeah. And so I'm just staring at the end of the cigar, looking for embers. Okay. That's what I'm doing. And so Gl- Gloom comes over and he starts staring with you as if to find something that you're looking for, okay. to help you find something that you're looking for. Okay. And he looks at you goes... And I look at Gloom and I say, we're looking for, I don't know what we're looking for. What are you looking for? What are you, what are you, what are you looking know. for? You're looking for something. I don't, okay. I'm just putting this, I'm going to put it in my pocket. So I, 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 I put, I, I slowly put it in my pocket. I look for my pockets because I can't find them. Okay. So yeah, you search. And you know, I'm looking for my pockets. I find, you find, I a, find pocket. a pocket. Yep. Do, should I roll for that? No. You okay. want to roll for that? Let's roll for that. <laughs> no, no. Do you feel like we haven't that. rolled enough? Okay. <laughs> We haven't rolled at all today. Now, when I came up with the idea for this, for what I, this whole thing that we're doing, I was you like, came up with this yeah, idea, kind of, yeah. How the fuck did I? I didn't, I'm just going with what's going on. Yeah, you just is, I just thought about an adventure that was more like this that was way less rolling. So okay, <laughs> well, yeah, zero rolling. This is nice. Yeah, the rolling is fun. This too, is just but, creative. Um, I don't know about creative, but it's. <laughs> It's uh, it's fun. Um, all it's right. almost like we're out partying, but yeah. we're not really getting yeah. partying. I wonder how much the show sucks or, or how good it is, maybe. You ask that every episode. I, I know. Every episode of every show, I wonder that. I would say this sucks 0% for me. I, for me, too. Okay. That's all that matters, then. Okay. So, um, yeah. So, I find a pocket. Okay. And I just slowly slide it in. All right. And then I stop. And I pat the same pocket, looking for it again. I stick my hand in and pull it out again, make sure it's still there. Okay. And then I put it back. All right. And then I do that again one more time. All right. So, and, and while you're doing that, <laughs> Gloom kind of watches you do that and uncomfortably, like, tries to put his hand out against where he thinks a wall is, but there is no wall. So he kind of half st- starts to fall. Uh, and the two of you look like complete idiots. From I just distance. watch him just... look at him to see if he's going to fall. He doesn't fall. I don't, I don't offer any help. I'm Here, just I'm gonna, curious. I'm going to make a roll. He doesn't fall. He doesn't fall. But, but, but yeah, the two of you look like two okay. wasted people trying not to look wasted. Yeah, it seems like we're heading to a party painfully. Way too late. Yeah, Pain- and we are ready. <laughs> painfully drunk already. Right. Yeah. Um, the party already happened. Okay, so um, d- do I see Z? You reach Z, and you're at Z. All right. So I, uh, this is Z, and Z. Nice. I so guess we, we go, go to go, the right go this here. way. Okay. So and we turn up that way. You look down that road, and it's completely lined with these torch-like lights along the entire like road. Tiki. Yeah, it's not faster. like tiki torches, but more like torches, like LED-like torches, like a, almost like a flashlight's going up into the air, kind of. Okay. Why do you say torch then? Well, like it's what you would call a, some people call flashlights a torch. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's you not don't a like those flashlight. I try to like be going camping, bring a torch. No, no, bring no. A torch. Is, I'm going to wrap a rag around a fucking. That's a torch. Twig, a branch. Um. um so I, I, um, I, I, I keep going. Okay, it's this way. It's this way. Yes. All right. So you guys stumble down. And you get, you end up at Z13, and on the left side, there's a very plain looking building with a door, and in the door, there's a little. One of those slidable windows that slide back, okay. and now right on the side, on the front of the door, it says there's a giant Z, and then like a subset thirteen underneath it. Subscript, subscript. That's it. Yes. Okay. Um. So I knock. I... Oh, right. gloom, gloom. Yeah. I, I'm gonna knock. I, All I, right. Hold on. When I was a kid, how do I look? I am. You look fucking okay. awesome, dude. 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 Yeah. You look awesome. Okay. I, I, you look great too. Your that, hair looks great. It's great. I really wanted a haircut. But it's great. I, 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 I remember this when I was a kid. It's like supposedly I, I heard is really old. I'm gonna knock on the door. Ready? Okay. Oh, they're supposed to knock back twice. 
Uh, How long do we wait? I don't know. I think it's called um, fart and a blowjob hair bit. Something. I like think that. it's called fart and a blowjob. Okay, something like that. They're not answering though. Okay, that's, <laughs> maybe that's not the knock. Okay. See, mm. how long have we been waiting? <clears throat> I don't know. That's a good question. You is there a, any other way in the side? Should we just open the door? Is and the door open? And as you say that, the little eye, the little window slides open, and then behind it is a giant yellow eye just staring back. Whoa, dude! It's got yeah. a it's got a yellow eye. Hey, hi, hi. Uh, is this C thirteen? Mm, yeah, it's what it says on the door. Uh, yeah, no, I wasn't sure I read it right. Um, yeah, can we come in? Uh, sure, if you tell me who vouches for you. Um, vow. What it, Glenn, what do you mean vouches for me? For I him? think he wants to know whose whose name we could throw. Um, name we could throw throwing out a name. Um, sorry, I was yawning. Uh, we, uh, how about our friend from the pastor Zaz? You guys know the bug. Yeah, yeah. Everyone calls him the bug. We, me Zaz. All right. What? I'm gonna open up a, a hole. You drop your weapons into it, and then you come in. Okay. Okay. And a little slot opens in the door. <sighs> And big enough for you to slide your weapons into. Okay. I, I take off my vibro blade from my belt whole hip thing, scabbard. And, okay. Uh, it falls on the floor. And I pick it up. <laughs> and then I, I reach for my pistol. And then that falls on the floor. And I go, oh, shit. And it, it didn't. <laughs> Gloom, did it go off? No, it okay. didn't. Go, it, we would have heard it go off. Well, I don't know. Maybe I missed it. And I Can you caref- guys hurry to fuck up? I, I hold the pistol, the charge pistol, with two fingers out in front of me like it's um, a piece of radioactive rock okay. that's about to kill me. And I just very slowly and carefully put it in the hole. Okay. And then I look at Gloom. <laughs> and he's just laughing and he pulls his rifle out and he's trying to slide it in there, but it doesn't really quite fit. And he has I mean, to Why don't you dis- just- disassemble it? I've seen I- you disassemble it. Yeah. <laughs> He just pulls the, it into pieces, doing the pieces like he did he the last He folds time. the stock out and he's able to slide it into there. There you go. Drops a few other things and he just starts pulling knives out of his jacket. And Jesus Christ. How, how many things do you have? Uh, I, I don't want to miss anything because I think they're going to be mad at me if I miss no. something. Yeah. Uh, okay. Check. Okay. I think I got everything. You got everything, man? Yeah. All right. And then the door slides, the little... Opening slides closed. The eyelid slides closed. You hear clunk, 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 clunk. The door starts to open up, and immediately you can just hear music coming from inside. This electronic twanging and thumping, smoke sounds. It's a, a wave of heat literally hits you from just the. I look at gloom at the threshold. Yep. And I give him a big smile. Okay. And he's yeah. like trying to, he's kind of wavering a little bit. And there you go. Z13. Oh, yeah. He puts his hand up like this. <laughs> and we give yeah. him, I give him a high five. <laughs> we high five. And I walk in. And we walk through the door to Z13. Okay. I think we should stop there. I, I, don't, know how many, that, I don't know how long we've got. I, ideally, I wanted to do the Z13 part, but I want to give it time to settle, and I don't want to rush it, and we're already probably oh, at the end. Oh, we did an hour and a half. Yeah, right, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. fine. We'll save Z13 for next time. <clears throat> All right. Well, that was uh, that was fun, man. I like that. Uh I don't know. Should we? Uh, um, yeah. So we'll be back in two weeks. We're gonna try and keep, keep a little bit tighter to a schedule. Yeah. I think we're better with this show than the other show. Yeah, actually, we didn't miss this show. Yeah, it's we, the other show we missed. Yeah, we missed a week of the other show. Um. All right. So everybody, uh, if you guys don't mind, just uh, I don't know, maybe subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on Twitter or send us an email or tell a friend or. Leave us a review. Any one of these things would help. Oh, by the way, that other country that yeah. was listening to us, it's, that it's was... Uzbekistan? Uzbek- it was <laughs> no, oh. no, no. I said Norway. It was. It's Ireland. Oh, Ireland. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it was north of England. That's all I knew. See, the Irish people would not 
once you describe them most in of terms them, of England, in, right? In proximity, and, to yeah, England. exactly. And you no, can never I say that they're part to of. I apologize to that and to that uh, to that listener. That's not you know for getting that confused, especially if you're from the Republic or you're from the North, right? We definitely apologize. We yes, we are we are pro Irish freedom and liberty. Yeah, we're drinking here. Guinness right we're drink, now. We we believe in that. I have people, and I have people in that part of the world. You know, we have people. Yeah, I got Chris, people. yeah. Chris has people, so I got people. So, so we're 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 hopefully we're all good. Yep. And I'd love to come there. Fuck the blocking times. I'd love to come there and just hang out in those grassy knolls. Grassy knolls? Hills. Isn't that where the fucking sniper was that killed Kennedy? I don't know what a knoll is, to be honest. A knoll is a, in out. Dungeons and Dragons. It's a whole different thing. A knoll. I thought a knoll is like rolling hills. Is it an N-O-L-L knoll? Because then there's a G-N-O-L-L, which is like a giant, like a bear monster thing in Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, no, that wasn't what I meant. Those don't exist in Ireland, I don't think. I hope not. No. But I know it's a beautiful country, so. But I love my country. And we come there and we will look you up. Yes. And hopefully you'll take us out and we'll buy you a beer. Maybe. Yeah. All right. Um, that's it, folks. Have a good one. We'll see you in two weeks with the RPG show and next week with the other weird. The shit show. The shit show. Wasabi peas, bitches. <laughs> Later, guys. Later.